Hello. Navigation Pro theme by Studio Press comes with a set of built-in home pages that you can add to your site with a, a single click of your button. They look great, but I'm looking for something much, much simpler. I want to build a home page that will be suitable for a freelance digital business. Navigation Pro uses the plugin Atomic Blocks. And once you've installed Atomic Blocks, when you make a new page, so if I make a new page, title. Now, I want to click this Genesis button here. I'm in the post editor and I'm using the block editor. I'm not using the old classic editor, I'm using the block editor. Click the Genesis button and I want to hide the title and I want to hide the featured image. Then I'm going to publish my page. You could save a draft if you want to. I'm going to publish to make it easier. Now, what you can do, you can add an Atomic Blocks layout. There are different types. There's sections and there are layouts. Layouts are complete front pages. You could use them for inner pages too if you want to but they're usually used as a front page. But these are complete pages. I'm going to use page sections. And Navigation Pro has 21 built-in ready-made page sections. The other Studio Press themes at the moment don't have this number of uh, extra sections that you can use. So what you can do, if you see the little heart, if you click one of these little heart buttons, it will add it to your favourites tab. Now I've added certain sections to the favourites just to make it easier for me to build my page so I don't have to root through every time. So if I click the favourites tab, I can now see the sections that I'm going to use. I've clicked the heart button to make them into favourites. Now I'll start at the top of the page with this section here. And I want to add a section beneath it. So click the three buttons, insert after, and I want to click this layouts button again, and I want to use this one. Click the three buttons, insert after. Now I want my testimonials one. Click the layouts button. I'm going to click favourites. And I've favouritised this testimonial section. Adding another one below. Insert after. Now I want the book section. So I'm using a a, B layout, favourites, the book section, once again, insert after, click the little layouts icon, and now to the posts, and one more time, insert after, click the layouts option. If you don't see the layouts option here, just click this and you want atomic blocks and then, and then click the AB layouts. I'm going back to my favourites that I chose earlier. And I want the contact and map section. I'm going to update and I'll have a look at what I've got so far. So I'll preview this page. Now if you notice it's in what's called a boxed layout. I want it to be unboxed. So I need to go back to my page, edit the page. Now there are two tabs here. This is the Genesis button 
and this one gives you WordPress settings. I'm going to click that one when my page is active. I'm editing my page. Click the WordPress settings cogwheel. Make sure you click the document tab. There are two tabs, block and document. So I'll click the WordPress cogwheel document tab and now I want to go down to page attributes and choose unboxed content update we'll have another look see where we've got to now we're getting a lot closer to where we want to be right so I'm going to edit the page and I need to change the text so I'm just going to copy and paste text in where I want it to be so triple click any piece of text and then paste in or type in your own text scroll down some more text that I want to change I'll just close this to make it a bit easier to see to change that text to change this text triple click paste in my text or type in my text more text I want to change triple click paste in your text more text I want to change scroll down a bit further and triple click paste or type in my own text now you can do that with almost all of the text on your page but I'll come back to this section later because this is a atomic blocks post and page grid I'll show you that in one minute but all the other text just triple click and you can type in or paste in your own text Go back to the top of the page. What I want to do now is to change this image. Now the easiest way to do this is to triple click it. You can click and then click this little button here but it can be tricky to click the button. So the easiest way just triple click and then you can add a different image. You can upload one. Now I've got one in my media library and I want to choose this one. This is not me, this is a, an image I got from Unsplash, but it's typical of a small business owner who would want to put their image on the front page. So I've added the page there, I'm not going to write a caption. I could if I want to do, but I don't want to in this case. So I've changed the image. Now here's a button, and I want to change the background colour of that button. So I just click the button, and in the block settings in the sidebar, I've got button colour, I'm just going to change it to orange. Scroll down a bit further, you could change the text as well. Triple click, you can change the text, paste in the URL for your button there. Now these are testimonials, and all you need to do, same as everything else, triple click, you can paste in your own text. The, these are just images, so if you click the image, you can change the image. Now this image here, when you buy the theme, Studio Press provide a, a Photoshop PSD of this layout. Now you would need to change that with software. There are online softwares that you can use, but if you've got Photoshop you could use it to make your own little book cover. Now this is an important part. This section is an atomic blocks post and page grid. Now if you click it, you'll see the settings in the block settings in the sidebar. One thing that you most likely want to change is the number of items to offset. Now it's set to 14 and I want it to be zero. And the offset is the number of posts it will ignore before it gets the ones you want to show. Um, so I've set it to zero. Now what I would do, I would build a category of blog posts that are just for the front page and then you can choose a category here and that gives you a lot more control 
of the blog posts that display on your front page. So when you're dealing with the post and page grid, make a category, put some posts into that category, and then make sure you set the number of items to offset to zero. Scroll down a bit further. This is the Google map. Now some Google maps you can embed for free and some Google maps you've got to actually pay to embed them. Google have a page explaining what Google maps are and how to do it. It's actually quite simple. You just get the code from Google and paste it in here. And so you could paste the map showing where your business is. But remember some maps you've got to pay for. But you can actually put a Google map showing people where you are for free. Right, well, I'll update the page and we'll see what we've got. Click the preview button. And there we've got a nice simple home page that will be suitable for a small digital business. Could be your services here. Testimonials. If you give away a book, a lot of people give away a book to get people to sign up to their um, email list and that's a nice easy way to tell people about it these are blog posts and that's your street address if you need to add a street address a lot of small businesses they uh, you know they don't publish the street address that's up to you now there's one little refinement I want to add if you look there's a slightly different colour between the different rows and I want to have this beige colour for every second row so I need to edit my page again go back to the top so that top section is the beige colour then I miss one then this one I want to be the beige colour now what I would highly recommend is that you learn how this tool works. It's called the Block Navigation Tool and it will help you a lot in navigating around your page. Because once you get the, uh, once you start using the different blocks, you soon build up confusing rows and columns. So what I did, I click inside the headline and I want to go to the top level, which is an advanced columns block in this case. So I click that. Now I want to add a background colour, so I'm in the block settings and I look for colour, background colour, I know the colour I want to use and it just changes the background colour very slightly. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to use that background colour for this section, click the, I've clicked in the headline, I want to go to the top level container top level in that section then background options background color I'm going to add a color there right now the other ones I want to have a an off-white color now some of them will be that color already but some of them I need to change so this one is already the color I want it to be if I have a look in there Click the title and then I need to click this block navigation tool at the top level, scroll down, background, custom colour. Now let's see what colour we've got there. Just scroll up. With the bottom section as well, this one with the um, the Google map, that's actually two sections. So if you want to change the background colour of that, you'll have to change this section and that section. They're actually two independent, they don't look it, but they are actually two independent sections. And there's another one I want to change, which is this one. So I'll click in the title, go to the top level. And then I want to change the background colour. So colours, background colour. Go to update and preview. See if it looks the way I want it to look. So 
got the beige colour background, then an almost white background, beige colour, and we've got this book row, beige colour, and then back to the white one. Now, the most important point I want to get across is that you've got choices. Navigation Pro has several built-in theme layouts, or home page layouts. And there's this law one. Scroll down. They all look slightly different to each other. But when you make your own page, you've got choices. If you click the sections tab, there are a lot of there are 21 actually in Navigation Pro, there are 21 sections that you can piece together a bit like a Lego set. They're just web page sections that you can choose to put wherever you want in your layout. But it gives you a really good selection so you can build your own home page. If you want to, you can click the layouts tab. The Layouts tab will let you add a complete front page by simply clicking one of these layout options. So that will make a complete page. And what you can do, you can also add different sections to your favourites to make it easier to find the ones that you're going to use in the future. And don't forget, most of the options I've been showing you are specific to the Navigation Pro theme by StudioPress. Thanks for watching and bye for now.